Welcome back, everybody. It is time for our Friday pup date with our favorite PTL pup. We're talking about penguin. Of course, and we check in with this canine companion for independence training every week. And today, penguin is outside our studio doors with Mikey Hood and his puppy raiser, Jill Sabo. Hey, Mikey, good morning. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. It's a beautiful fall morning today and I'm out here with our BFF, our best furry friend, Penguin, who is training to be a canine companion for Independence and his puppy raiser, Jill Sabo. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. I shouldn't say puppy raiser. He's a he's a dog now, officially. I, he's always a puppy to me. <laughs> uh, yeah. And he, he's been busy lately. He's, he's He participated in a really important walk recently. Yes, yeah, so we participated in the buddy walk this past Saturday. My my goddaughter Molly, who's watching today, hi Molly, <laughs> organized her Molly's Marchers for the 26th annual Pittsburgh Buddy Walk benefiting the Down Syndrome Association of Pittsburgh. So because it was virtual, we weren't able to meet with everybody in the Pittsburgh area, but we had a small group and we met at her house and we did a one mile walk around the neighborhood to raise awareness for Down Syndrome and also to raise awareness for Canine Companions for Independence and the types of placements that they do. They do placements for children with Down syndrome, among other things. And so it's really important to get out into the community so that maybe somebody who knows somebody who has Down syndrome didn't know the benefits that a service dog could provide for a person with Down syndrome. So it's really important to get out there and spread the word about Down syndrome and about also Canine Companions for Independence. Well, I mean, every time I see Penguin, he impresses me more <laughs> and more. And we were talking earlier about a boy who has Down syndrome who was matched up with a puppy just like Penguin. Yes, uh, there's a little boy named Luke who has Down syndrome. And as a result, he has difficulty speaking clearly and he gets anxious and sometimes just very normal circumstances. So Canine Companions for Independence matched him with his assistance dog, Ruff, who helps him with those things. So because Luke has to be able to give commands clearly to Ruff so that he understands, he's forced him to focus on how to learning to speak more clearly, and it's given him the encouragement to do that, and it's made not only giving commands to Ruff easier, but also just normal communication um, in day-to-day -day life. And one of the other things that Ruff does for him is called the nudge command, mm -hmm. which is where when Ruff notices that Luke's getting anxious or displaying some type of anxious behavior, he goes over and nudges his hand to redirect his attention to get him to focus on something else that would have a calming effect on him. Wow, it's just it's amazing how smart <laughs> these puppies are. Right? Yes. Yeah, and and so um, and they also assist people who have all types of needs as well. Yes, mm -hmm. the the range of disabilities that the dogs help are, are are numerable, but the top ones are muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy, autism, Down syndrome. It's just they can do so many different things with the same basic commands and they just apply them differently based on the graduate and what their particular needs are. So they're just they're amazing animals and canine companions and the trainers are just amazing and what they can do and what they can help people achieve with the help of a service dog. Yeah, and you were telling me that uh, Canine Companions for Independence recently opened up a new facility in our region. Well, in Ohio, right? Yes, in New Albany, Ohio, which is just under three hours from Pittsburgh. They just built a brand new facility and they had the grand opening this week. Unfortunately, because of COVID again, it was also virtual. Mm -hmm. But the facility has beautiful training centers, beautiful kennels for the dogs, and it also has um, apartments for the graduates when they come to pick up their dog that they could just stay right at the facility with their own little apartment, which has kitchen facilities. They have a, a room where they can just go and hang out, and it just promotes cohesion among the groups, and it's just so much easier for a, what is a stressful time learning how to work with your new service dog. I agree. Well, I have to ask, was, was Penguin there for the grand opening? No, we weren't allowed to be there again, <laughs> but hopefully we'll get to go in the next couple of months. And if we do, we'll have lots of video and we can have a tour through Penguin's eyes. But this is the facility where Penguin will turn in for advanced training in February. So it's wonderful to him, for him to have such a beautiful place to go and learn to do all of his advanced commands. Wow, Joe, you, you must be proud. It's, it's so great to know that you're having such an impact on Penguin and then in the future in someone's life. Yes, I hope so. Penguin has the ability to be a great service dog, so fingers crossed. All right, he still well, has a lot to learn. <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much, John. Looks like he's, us. he's relaxing right now. <laughs> yeah, he's chilling. All right, all right. We'll send it back to you. I'm going to be back with Penguin in a little bit. He's going to help me with our something good today, so I look forward to that. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you so much, Mikey, and to Penguin and Jill, as always. Jill. Yeah, although I don't want to see him go. I want him to continue with us. I know. All right, well, you can see.